I'm being accused of touching my daughter sexually in a manner that no one is supposed to be doing. My relationship with Sandra, we grew up with each other. We know each other. We guided each other. We helped each other. Been in a relationship 13, 14 years, on and off. I love her, you know, and I love my kids. That day, um, she's crying. She, she got tears going down her neck. It's turning white. It's drying up already. And I'm like, she's been crying for a while. So I asked her, what's going on? She just looked at me in my eyes and told me, how could you do this? And I was like, what you mean? I thought maybe she was referring to me going out the other night. Thought maybe she thought I was cheating on her or something. She was like, my daughter told me that you touched her. I was like, I was shocked, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is you coming at me like this? I looked back there at my daughter and I asked her, I said, what's going on? And both of them just put their head down. And I asked back, uh, my wife, I say, what's going on? You need to talk to me, tell me something. My wife was like, I have to believe my child. I was like, you're right. I can't tell you not to. I said, but you don't think I did this, do you? And she was like, no, I don't know what to believe because I've been knowing you all my life. And from that day on, I haven't seen uh, my kids or anything. It's crossed my mind that my wife would put that in their head and make them say this, you know. It's crossed my mind that maybe that they didn't want me in the picture, but I would hope that she would not do anything like this. I hope we get to the bottom of this situation and the truth comes out. And I hope that after this show that everybody will see me as a good father and good husband that I am. I miss the most about my kids of me playing with them and we wrestling and, and we going out to the park and going out to eat and things like that, what a regular family does. I miss them the most right now. I deserve to love them as a father should. And I deserve for them to love me back. I was taking my kids to school and my daughter, she was being mean to her brother. And I was telling her, I was like, you know, you need to stop being mean to him. Like, where's his attitude coming from? Y'all are your siblings, y'all shouldn't fight like this. And she was like, well, mama, if I had the courage to do something that I need to do, then my attitude would be gone. And I was like, courage, baby, what do you, what do you need courage for? And she said, well, mama, daddy's been touching me and my sister. And I said, what? What do you mean? And she was like, yes, mama, daddy's been touching me and my sister. And I said, are you sure it was daddy? Like, it wasn't nobody else. I was like, it couldn't be daddy. Are you sure? And she was like, yes, ma'am, I'm sure. And I said, well, how was he touching you? Like, was it in a playful way? Like, you know, like, you know, when he picks y'all up, you know, did he brush against, you know, your, your boobs or anything like that? And she was like, no, mama, it wasn't in a playful way. It was in a nasty way. And I said, um, so like, did he like pull your pants down? Like what happened? And she said, well, yeah, he, he pulled our pants down and he, you know, and I said, I said, by that time I was just crying. And I just didn't know what to do. And I was like, um, well, why y'all didn't tell me sooner? Like when, when did this happen? She said, well, we didn't tell you sooner because Daddy said that he would whoop us if we told anybody. I would never do this to my kids. How could you? They say you did. They said you did this. I would never do this to my kids. I've been in y'all life on and off for 13 years, Sandra. I have never ever thought, even thought of nothing like that. But I have to, to believe any kid, them. not alone mine. And I understand that, but I have to believe them. They say you did it, so I have to believe them. I have to do what I have to do to make sure the I'm kids are safe. I'm a good safe. father, though, Sandra. And like, I, I don't that. do nothing wrong to them. And then disciplining them? I don't even discipline them. Everybody. Do you think for a second that she is making this up? No, it ran across my mind. Yes, it did. It ran across my mind. But then you said, no, there's no way. Yeah, I was like, I, was like I, I would hope that she would not be able to do that. I would hope she wouldn't do that. What would be her motivation? I don't know, maybe to get rid of me? Because she didn't but want me back. If she, went, she, when you, she didn't when want me back. When you got out of jail, she would have said, get out of here. I got a, a, a letter a week before I got out of jail saying that she didn't, I mean, uh, saying that she didn't want me back, but she, she but took she me took back. she took you back? Yes. And have you been questioned by the police? I have not yet. I've been waiting. Uh, I was, I'm scheduled to go this week. Uh, we asked you, did you fabricate the story that Mark is, is sexually molesting your two daughters? You answered no. Did you coach either of your two daughters to accuse Marcus of sexually molesting them? You answered no, and the results came back the same teach question, and it came back that Sandra told the truth. I know it. I told you. I didn't tell them to say that. Oh, 
would never do that. I would never do that. Marcus came here and he took a lie detector test. He's been accused of molesting uh, his daughters and watching uh, pornographic uh, tapes with, with them or images. Came here and we asked him, did you ever touch either of your daughters for your own sexual pleasure? You answered no. Did you ever show either of your daughters any pornographic images? You answered no. And the results came back the same to each question. And it came back that Marcus did not tell the truth. You saw my kid! Baby, come on, you man. Did this. You know I wouldn't do oh, this. God. You know I wouldn't do this, man. man. This is wrong, man. I did not do this. Why would you do this. do this to your you own kids? You know I wouldn't kids. do this to my own kids, right. Sandra. Obviously, you did the test that you did. How could you? You, you the one who wanted to call the show to prove your innocence. Exactly. So why would I even do that? You said you did. Everybody born me, and and, 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 and and you it think that I'm really doing did. this? Come on, to my your own kids. Your daughter said let you alone did. Some the other test kids. said you did. You did. Man, He's gonna continue to deny it. Just be real. Here's your chance to tell the truth. You gonna take it or not? I did not touch my kids. Get the hell off my stage. That's a bad guy. And he's done damage to your children that, you know, they're going to need help and counseling and everything else. Yeah. But he needs to go to prison for a very long time. Yes, he does, and he will. Good luck to you. And whatever we can do to help you, okay? <laughs> a few months after the show aired, Authorities reached out to my staff for assistance in their investigation of Marcus. And after he was officially indicted in January of 2021, an investigator called my staff to let us know that Marcus had been arrested in March. And in August, the case ended with Marcus pleading guilty to two counts of indecency with the child, sexual contact. He was sentenced to eight years in Texas Department of Criminal Justice and has registration obligations in the sex offender program. I'm so proud of my staff for working with the authorities and helping to get justice for Sandra and her daughters. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.